Salmaran. I am Director of Production at NBC Universal Sky Castle and LX TV. I've been inspired by so many wonderful women along my journey. I'm really grateful for the circle that I have. Attorneys, entrepreneurs, artists, moms, but definitely my mom has been the greatest inspiration to me. I'm the proud daughter of immigrant parents and my mom came over to the United States from El Salvador by herself when she was 20 years old and she started laying the foundation to what would become my life. And so I'm so grateful for her. She's such a strong woman with an incredible work ethic and she inspires me every day. I take her with me everywhere I go. She is always supporting me in everything that I do. One of the barriers I've faced as a woman in my career has been the idea that I need to do more to demonstrate my abilities as a woman and as a Latina. I grew up with the notion that hard work speaks for itself. And so in order to stay humble, I just waited for my work to be recognized. So I've learned along the way to really speak up and advocate for myself. What helps me feel confident is a great outfit, <laughs> is a, a bold lip, a great highlighter on the cheek. You know, I love to sing and belt out along to one of my favorite power songs. I have recently taken up running, so crossing that finish line makes me feel confident. All of these things bring me joy, and so when I feel the joy, I feel more confident. The advice that I would give to the next generation of female leaders is don't hold back. Trust yourself. Leadership is less about the management and more about inspiring your team. And so I think it's really important to keep that in mind that you are dealing with other human beings. And so there's no better way to lead than to lead by example. I came out to LA from Colorado. I was 17 years old. I decided to make the huge leap and come out to LA by myself. I grew up in a really small resort mountain town and I just felt the need to see more of the world and sought to meet new people and get have new adventures. And so I came out to LA for school. After graduation, I thought that I wanted to work in music and so I had had internships with some record labels. I interned at Interscope Records for a couple of years. When I graduated, there weren't any real positions. It was kind of um, a transitional period for the music industry. And so because I wanted to stay out in LA, a friend of mine in college, she had started a small PR company that worked with Latin corporate communications clients. And so from there, I worked with her for a couple of years. She gave me great opportunities. I had studied PR in college. And so it was it was great that I was using what I had studied and then could also use my Spanish. After a couple of years at this small PR firm, I saw an opportunity to work at Telemundo in a marketing position. And so it was about time. I just wanted to see what else was out there, how I landed in the job that I have now. I didn't always know that I wanted to be in production. That wasn't the goal that I had set for myself at all. My background was in PR and marketing. I was one of two people that spoke Spanish in the office. And so slowly but surely they would give me scripts to review and they would have me go on set and just make sure that everything sounded okay in Spanish. And if there was a Spanish client, they wanted to make sure that I could be on the phone with them and just make sure that they were comfortable and that they felt good about the campaign that we were putting together. And so that's kind of how I fell into production. And so it's been a lot of learning. It's been learning on the job, but I've, I've really grown to love it. And I can see myself doing it for a really long time. I'd say what I enjoy most about my job is when I get to share it with my parents, my family, and my community. When I worked in PR, I would talk to my parents about a big campaign and you know tell them all the details and they would be excited. They've always been super proud of me, but it's different when I can tell them all about a project and then point to the TV and say, I made that. And so it's just, it, the visual helps. You can see the pride in their eyes and, and their smiles, and it's just, it feels really good to be able to, to share it. I'd like to see the entertainment industry just 
reflect back what the audience is. And I think we as a society can hopefully start doing a better job of this, but really embracing everyone for, you know, who they are, their background, their differences, their skin color, like everything. I think that we should be able to celebrate that and put it on screen and have the production team and the crews and the writers and the directors be representative of, of every type of person that there is in this country. I think that if we're more open-minded in what we portray to the audience, then hopefully that will rub off and we can celebrate what people have to offer. <laughs> Women can be supportive of one another in um, just remembering that we're all on the same team, we're all in the same position, and so why shouldn't we cheer each other on and let each other shine? You know, we all have our strengths, and if we work together, we can make the products that we're selling, we can make the productions that we're creating that much better. And so I think it's really important just to keep Keep supporting one another. Don't tear each other down. My theme song for life and for work would be Like a Girl by Lizzo. I, I just love running to that song. It's fun. It's energizing. It's, uh, it has such a positive message. It's empowering. It's, it's a good reminder. You can do anything. And when you do it like a girl, it's just as good, if not better, than when men do it. I have encountered so many amazing female professionals that are just killing it in their respective fields. I can't pinpoint one name, but I would say that I have a lot of great examples in my own family, in my friends, and also at work. Um, and I think that I draw a little bit of inspiration from each of them. Um, they each have uh, traits that I really admire, both professionally and personally. And so I feel like I'm very lucky and I'm so grateful uh, to be surrounded by such amazing women.